Many of you who write to us say we pay more attention to imported cars than domestics. In this show so far, we've shown you only American-made products, even for Car of the Week. The truth is, we try to give equal time. And now it's Lisa Barrow's time. She's here with the latest motor news. Lisa? Thanks, John. Change always comes in small doses from Volvo, even when the Swedish car maker introduces a whole new model. Their next new model is no exception. Looking a lot like the current 7 Series, this is the upcoming entry-level Volvo. It replaces the box body that Volvo's been refining for the past 20 years, the car known today as the 240. Whether or not the new car will go by the same name, we don't know. We do know the new Volvo will make the switch to front drive. With more interior room than the current 240, it will be offered as a four-door or a wagon. The car will share some of its parts with the Volvo 480, the sports coupe that Volvo chose not to send to the States. The power plant will likely be Volvo's 2.3-liter four-cylinder, but Volvo is also working on this all-new high-efficiency four. A three-liter V6 is also possible. The new Volvo will be introduced in Europe for 1990, which means we probably won't see the car until 1991. In other news, the crashworthiness of all future automobiles may be affected by a research project being conducted in Maryland. Maryland Shock Trauma Center has been commissioned by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to study in detail real-world car crashes. The purpose is to determine how injuries occur and what forces and objects are responsible for inflicting injury. The study will use crash reconstruction, victim injury records, and existing crash data to develop a computer-based system that could be used by NHTSA in future safety rulemaking. The study, the most in-depth of its kind, began last October and will take three years to complete. Dr. John H. Siegel heads the project, and his past research suggests that drivers and passengers are extremely vulnerable to injury from lateral as opposed to frontal crashes. John?